Hello, my crafty friends. This is Denise, Crafty Dandy, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Southern California in the United States. And today we're going to make this card from Celebrate Sunflowers. And it's a special card because it's got kind of this little half flap here. I don't know what that's called. I just thought that would be pretty cool. So let's get started on this. The Celebrate Sunflowers are on page, uh, I think it's page 13, in the annual catalog. And we have the Celebrate Sunflower stamps and the dies. And when you do the stamp and dies together, you can save 10% and we love saving 10%. And I hope you can see these, these really cool cards here. Um, there's so much inspiration in this catalog. It's really great. If you don't have a catalog and you don't have a demonstrator, please contact me. All that information will be down below. All right, so that is the die set we're using. So the stamps come like this. And the dies come like this, and I'm making a mess already. And I'll put that in. Well, I'll leave this out so we can look at it. All right, these are the dies. So we're going to start with cherry cobbler on the eight and a half by eleven. Yeah, I got a head start here. So we're going to take this and we're going to cut it like we're doing a top fold. All right. So we're going to that's eight there. So we're going to cut it at four and let's see eight and a half so four and a quarter so we'll cut it at four and a quarter and that gives us this yeah yeah i can do math i can do card math sometimes um so we cut this so it's just going to be a top fold but we're going to use it this way all right and so then we're going to put it in here you know this trimmer cuts as well as scores so we're going to put it in here and we would score it at five and a half, right? We got five and a half. All right. I already got a good score line. So now we're going to put it this way. Okay. This is where it gets just a little bit tricky. So we're going to cut it at two and one eighth and all these measurements will be down below. So two and one eighth. And we're going to cut from the score line. Now I tried a couple of these and I find it easier to start at the score line, sink my blade and cut. Up. And there we go. We have it just like that. You move this out of the way. And now we're just going to cut off one of these flaps and it can go either way. Let's see, we could go this way. We're going this way. And we're gonna take off the top flat. Ooh, we've got motorcycles going by. I at first did this on the trimmer and it did not go so well. And we'll just burnish that that aside and there we go we have this then we're going to take some whisper white and we're going to take one for the inside that's five and a quarter by four so we'll have that there and for the front we're going to do five and a quarter by one and seven eighths now on this one I had it a little bit smaller, but I felt like this was too much of a border here as much as I love the cherry cobbler. So you can do it this way, which is make it a little bit smaller. And on this one, I decided to use the DSP, which is from Flowers for Every Season. Lots of choices in there. But I thought on this one, we would go ahead and use the Whisper White on here. So we'll get out the stamp and seal. And we'll go ahead and put that on there. Try and center it just on this flap. You know, we can 
well, we'll stick this one on later. All right, so now here's the interesting part. We are going to cut out a piece of this so it shows this part here. All right, so we are going to put this on here. I use these, this little section right here as a reference and I'm going to put it about there. Then I'm going to take a post-it and just put it on there to hold it in place while I cut it. And isn't it just magical that I have one here already cut. Ta-da! Okay, that's great, right? So now let me show you about our flower. We have this. This is also from the design series paper, Flowers for Every Season, and it's the Bumblebee shade. And then we cut this part. So oh, let me show you. This part is cut with this. It's just the outline of the flower. And then grab that out of here. When you use this part of the dies, you get this. Isn't that cool? I think that's so cool. So now we're going to stick this on top of this with your favorite adhesive. I like liquid adhes adhesive, and so I used that on there. All right. So let's start putting this together. I was trying to figure out which sentiment I wanted to use. This Celebrate Sunflowers comes with several very nice sentiments and I have used them a lot on cards. Um, we've got Let's Celebrate You, Congratulations on Reaching a Whole New Level of Wonderful, Thanks a Bunch, Know That You Are Loved. And I really like these, but they really didn't fit quite as well as I needed them to fit. So I went over to this stamp set, Life is Beautiful. And that is from the holiday catalog. Let me get that open here for you. Oh. Let's try again, sorry about that. The holiday catalog, which is the August to December 2020 mini catalog. And here it is, Life is Beautiful. All right, so we're going to use the sentiment from that, and we're going to use the one right here that says, Thinking of You. Here we go. We are all set. Move this out of the way before I lose it. All right, so we're going to go ahead and stick this down on here. And put this up here where we can see. Try and get that in the center. All right, so that's going to be like that. And then those three little ones that are a little bit different is what we put right there. Okay, so when that opens, it'll be like that. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop this up on dimensionals. I did cut out, well, let's see, on this one, we used some of the green sprigs, which also come in the dies, the celebrating, celebrate sunflowers dies. So I was kind of wondering if I should put red under here or if I should go with the bumblebee. Let's see. Let's see what else we've got here. I kind of like the, it's not red, sorry, cherry cobbler. I really like the cherry cobbler, but I'll show you what this looks like just in case. Might want to try that one. I think we'll go with the cherry cobbler. All right. Yeah, no, not one of each. We'll do this one and this one. Let's go up here a little bit. Oh, we need to keep it on there. You know what? I'm going to put this. Let's look at it from the front. Let's do that. And put that. Oh, it's that. 
right there and there hmm. I like it with just those two all right so I'm gonna hold that there I'm gonna just do that whoopsie it's all right I got this and put that like that there and we'll put some dimensionals on the back of that oh look how back pretty the back of the paper is it's so hard when they have the double-sided paper because I'm like oh wait I like this side oh no wait I like this side well I like them all that's my problem take off the little tabby things oh, get over there Got them all. All right, looking for these three little pieces that come like that. And it's going to fit right in here. All right, and we'll open it up and we'll be thinking of you. I like this because, you know, if someone wants to set it up, they'll be able to like, use this as a little stand on the back. Or they can have it like this. Now, one thing I didn't do is I didn't put our little flower center here. And I kind of went back and forth on which color I wanted for the center. I tried a brown one, which I had here someplace. But I really like the yellow. Bumblebee. Bumblebee. I'm new at this. It's Bumblebee. So, I'm going to put that right down there. And there we go. So we have that one and we have this one. So this has the design series paper, which is flowers for every season. And this is just Whisper White and Cherry Cobbler. And there you have it. Now I did have a couple things that I wanted to share with you. One is, let me set these aside that there is a September special going on with the get and go starter kit promotion. So if you wanted to, I mean, if you really ever thought of being a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, this is a good time. I mean, it's always a good deal. For $99, you get to choose $125 worth of products and no shipping. But now they're adding extra things so not only do you get to choose your $125 worth of things, you get all these extras here. You get two extra stamp sets that they've chosen and some jewels and these card kits. And there's just, this is just amazing. So if you've ever thought of it, there's, there's really no downside to it. So think about it. If you have more questions, just all my contact information is down below. All right, next thing I want to talk to you about is the paper pumpkin. And I've been having so much fun with paper pumpkin. As I mentioned, I'm somewhat new to Stampin' Up! I haven't been a demonstrator very long, but I have been enjoying paper pumpkin. So I, for the or if you order between September 11th, obviously passed, um, through October 10th, you can get the Christmas one. Now this is a subscription, but you can you can pause, you can skip, you can cancel anytime you want. But I think you're not gonna wanna miss this Christmas one. Joy to the world, and it makes eight elegant holiday cards. I think I'm gonna order two. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Joy to the world, it's gonna be beautiful. I'm so excited. Well, my crafty friends, I'm glad we could spend some time together today. I hope you're enjoying this. If you enjoyed the video, would you please give it a thumbs up? 
I would greatly appreciate it. And if you want to share with anybody that you think this would brighten up their day, that would be wonderful too. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And um, I would challenge you this week to make a card and send it to somebody. Send them a note. I'm sure you know somebody that would really, really appreciate it. All right. Until next time, y'all take care. Bye.